Ask Reddit by Begepping. What is your first thought about someone when they have a confederate flag sticker on their car? I loathe seeing it in my home state of MN. The 1st Minnesota Infantry Regiment had an 82% casualty rate in Gettysburg. It's the Minnesota first, because they were the first in the nation to volunteer to fight the slave states. Minnesota became a state just two years before the war started. Most of those volunteers were immigrants, willingly gave up their lives for a country they chose. That it is a weird thing to do here in Germany. Das Duke boys iced at it again. As an Australian I am often confused because there really are fucked at who do this. The South will rise ack, in Australia? But you didn't consider the spiders, d. You bitch. Edit, JFC this comment blew up overnight. Thanks, Aussies, and, I guess whoever wasn't sleeping in my country. Ridiculousnesses. Missouri was not even part of the confederacy, Dumbus. For reference, I live in MO, and they are all over down here. I get the same thing in Indiana. It's not common per se, but I see it often enough that I think about the fact that Indiana didn't border the CSA either and had the whole commonwealth of Kentucky as a buffer. But then again, I know Indiana's reputation and history with sundown towns and the Klan, so my emotions transition into just a profound sense of disappointment in my fellow Hoosiers. Little anecdote, in the 90s, NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt put a Southern Pride sticker on his personal pickup, which had a Confederate flag in its design. When one of his employees, an African American woman, saw it, she told him it made her uncomfortable. His reaction? He immediately apologized, looked for a razor blade and scraped it off his truck. He's a racer, but not a racist. What a fucking idiot. Literally, first thought always is some iteration of fucking idiot. Do not engage. Living in the north it's always an interaction bait, guys with anger issues that want someone to say something. The flag's idiotic in the south, up here it's pathetic. Their heritage was around for less time than Taco Bell has had nacho fries. Obama was president longer than the confederacy existed. He is their heritage. If American stupid cunt. If Canadian? Really stupid cunt. I live in southern Alberta and have seen it a few times. They live their life with self-imposed blinders on. They do not travel far from where they were born, limit their experiences to the things that fit into their chosen culture and are most likely undereducated. They are ignorant, and take pride in that ignorance, doing everything in their power to maintain it. This. I live in the southern us in between a large city and a very rural area. I see confederate flags every single day on the way to our gym. These people are incredibly focused on staying in their bubble at all costs. Proudly ignorant. Proudly a literal loser. As a Laogianian. If in the south, they are likely unaware they're racist or they're a turbo racist. Outside the south, I'm not only a racist, I'm also an absolute fucking moron. Turbo racist sounds like a card game designed by ESL students. If it's an orange Dodge Charger, the Duke boys are nearby somewhere. They really should have fired the guy responsible for building bridges in Hazard County, they were always out for some reason. That the phrase African American has never once been uttered in their home. I'm grateful for them identifying as a racist asshole and to avoid them. Racist trash. My husband started a new job a few years ago, and this younger guy there decided, based on my husband's appearance, that he would surely be super impressed by all his confederate flag tattoos and kept trying to tell him about them all day. He came home so upset and finished his rant with I'm not racist. I'm just bald. Loser. Mine is just you. 
racism and ignorance. I love when I hear people state in their own defense, I'm just celebrating my heritage, it's a shit argument. I have a lot of German, but you don't see me waving a Nazi flag around. That flag has a connotation to it. So does the Confederate flag. I'm also not saying we should erase or ignore that part of history. It's highly important to understand what was. But to be proud of it is a different story. The part that gets me most about the whole heritage excuse is that they don't even know what the original confederate flag looked like and hail a flag brought about around the same time as Jim Crow laws which are even more obviously racist. What kills me is I'm a southerner working a contract in Maine and I've seen these flags in rural Maine. WTF man? I just assume they're racists and or idiots. Either way, I don't engage. They're usually a gun happy group too. I grew up in Maine. You are not wrong. Also, it's gotten worse in the last few years. There is a family that flies the confederate flag every day, and has an American flag stapled to the 7 feet high fence they put up, which is uncommon in the area. They have several sign warning that trespassers will be shot. They also have a dumpster that they leave out on the side of the road. The bumper sticker is bad. The giant flag attached to the truck is much scarier. Either way I assume they read at a second grade level. If I see the bumper sticker I think of sassy bumper stickers I could put next over it. If they have a flag I try to keep as much distance as humanly possible. Don't make eye contact. Dumb redneck. In the bible belt of the US I see them pretty regularly. I just assume they are either racist, incredibly stupid, or in most cases both. As someone from a former confederate state, it's a painful reminder of a horrible shame committed by my people, how we were duped by the wealthy landowners into sending thousands of our young men to die just to uphold a despicable institution. There are many who actually buy into the heritage not hate narrative, but aren't necessarily bad people, just ignorant and easily manipulated. Nowadays I live in Indiana, a state that was all in on the union side. When I see it up here, I have to assume that they are a KKK member and hate America. They are usually flown next to a MAGA flag, which tells me they are both racist and an absolute joke of a person. Do Diamond Maryland and there is a house at the end of my street that flies a half American half Confederate flag and below it is a Trump train flag. Just that alone tells me it's trash people who live there. Edit, my brain broke for a minute. You lost. Get over it. But mostly, they're openly racist. If I had bigger balls, I would leave another bumper sticker next to it that says American Civil War runner up. Fuck that traitor. And X200B. Calling them racist just makes them feel soft and fuzzy, making sure they know that they betrayed America's ideals, while claiming to be patriots, is more ideal. I used to see a guy around my old city who had a confederate flag waving from one side of his truck and the US flag waving from the other side. I wondered if he was at war with himself or just dumb as dog shit. Probably the latter. Racist. Calling it heritage doesn't work when you live in the north if it was ever an excuse in the first place. I've just got southern pride we live in Michigan dumbass. Northerner by birth, southerner by choice. STFU Becky, you grew up in Sterling Heights. Your dad stamps out car parts for a living and your mom is a CPA. I get that southerners display this flag to reflect their roots, but you need to call a spade a spade. It's slavery, it's the American South wanting to keep slavery. That's why the Confederacy formed. To keep slaves. So the flag today literally means I am racist enough to still display a flag that supports the enslavement of black people. Imagine Germans proudly displaying a swastika to reflect their historical roots. Oh wait, they can't because 1, the fucking Nazis lost the war, and 2, it's literally illegal in the country because of all the vitriol that symbol represents. Low IQ. 
lacks any and all critical thinking ability. They have two brain cells and both are vying for second place. I'm going to assume that they're either white trash or just a fucking idiot. Traitor scum.